welcome back we did some property proof of z transform in the last session in this session we will discuss some problems in z transform so let us find z transform for the given signal 3 power n u of n before starting this particular problem we will recall one basic mathematical formula summation n is equal to 0 to infinity a power n it do have two answers we discussed and it depends on the a value if a is lesser than 1 and greater than 0 which is a fraction 0 0.5, 0 0.2 like this and if a is greater than 1 its answer 1 is infinity diverging other is finite 1 by 1 minus a converging very long back we discussed your infinite series give finite results when a is fraction gives infinite results when a is greater than 1 gives converging sequence it gives diverging sequence this converging sequence C stands for converging in this region 0 to 1 in this region in this region this sequence converts so we call it as region of convergence keep it pending what is your z transform formula summation n is equal to minus infinity infinity x of n z power minus n what is the given problem let us substitute 3 power n u of n is the given x of n z power minus n can you please define what is u of n yes its amplitude is 1 its amplitude is 1 where to where right side u of n signal you know right side 0 to infinity 3 power n, u of n is 1, z power minus I just substituted the given problem. I just defined what is u of n, right? Try to modify the given problem to look like that formula. How n is equal to 0 to infinity, 3, z inverse, whole power n. This is resembling the term A in that format. Now tell me, there are two answers. One is infinite, one is 1 by 1 minus A. Which answer we need? We need only finite answer because that is A. What is the finite answer? The finite answer is 1 by 1 minus A. Who is A now? 3z inverse. Now this is the result x of z. This result is valid under what condition? Come on. Under what condition the A must be lesser than 1 and it should be greater and it should be greater than 0. But if we understood that your Z domain, what is that we have plot which is called the Z plane, minimum value is 0. So you can't have a negative value in my polar coordinate. So let us remove that. Your A must be lesser than 1. That should be the condition. Who is A in this problem? 3z inverse is lesser than 1. If this is valid, then only your result exists. Now, let us simplify. It can be written as z by z minus 3. This is your final answer. Under what condition? Under this condition. In this region, it converges. That is what finite answer. So we call it as ROC. 3 by Z is greater than lesser than 1. 3 is lesser than Z. Suffer. Z is greater than 3. There is no negative value. So even that also includes. So it is 1. Now. For this 3. Let us draw the magnitude 3. Make a circle. This is Z equal to 0. Z equal to 1. Z equal to 2. Z equal to 3. Z equal to 5. Up to infinity. This region is z lesser than 3. This region is z greater than 3. What does this indicate? z is greater than 3. This is the region. So in this region, 
with this region z is greater than 3 in this region you take any value of z the substitute here the sequence will converge and give that so this is the final answer the final answer is z by z minus 3 whose ROC is given where it is greater than 3 so the next problem x of n is equal to 2 power n minus 2 u of n minus 2 let us substitute in the formula as usual 2 power n I can even break this 2 power minus 2 u of n minus 2 z power minus n. independent term we can remove outside which is 2 square which is 1 by 4 I can bring it minus 2 now you have to define where is n minus 2 it is right shifted so it is 2 to infinity 2 power n z power minus n I can rewrite 1 by 4 summation n is equal to 2 to infinity 2 z inverse the whole power now this is resembling this formula not it is 0 it is k see the lower limit it is k and what is the result if it is a power k but remaining all are same the conditions everything is same now what is the answer it is x of z the constant let us not disturb 1 by 4 what is the answer this is a this is k a power k divided by 1 minus a this is valid under what condition? The condition is ROC where A must be lesser than who is A? 2Z inverse must be lesser than. Let us do some more simplification. 1 by 4, if you bring it inside 2 square 4z power minus 2 divided by 1 minus 2z inverse, which will be cancel. Multiply by z square will be. 1 divided by z square minus 2z which is 1 divided by z into z minus 2 this is the final answer and what about here it is 2 by z is less than 1 2 is less than z that is z is greater than 2 magnitude we call it as ROC so draw one z domain with radius the value what is mentioned is 2 Z is greater than, greater than means outside, lesser than means inside, drive is outside. So let us share this area and say this is your ROC, which means in this region you take any value and substitute here the regions, the sequence will converse. Make a note of this. The third problem is X of n is equal to U of n. This is factor at 0 to infinity. Now let me give one more problem. X of n is equal to u of minus n minus 1. Let us include minus. We will see more detail. So this is factor where I can say it is right shifted. So it is 1 to infinity. On reflection it is minus infinity to minus 1. So we know this. We will discuss that later. Summation n is equal to minus infinity infinity u of n z power minus n. u of n is factor by 0 to infinity whose amplitude is 1 z power minus n. Now this is resembling n is equal to 0 to infinity z inverse whole power n. Now what is the result? Let us say the result is 1 by 1 minus z inverse multiply variable by z z by z minus 1. This is your final answer. And let us think about ROC. What is the ROC? Your Z inverse is less than 1. 1 by Z is less than 1. 1 is less than Z. Just shuffle. Z is greater than 1. So this is your ROC. What is that ROC says? Greater than or lesser than? Yes. It is outside. Greater than. So the answer is z by z minus 2. Same let us do for this particular problem x of z is equal to summation minus infinity infinity minus u of minus n minus 1 z power minus n. Now I can say this u of minus n minus 1 limit is valued from minus infinity to minus 1 minus z power minus n. 
if you want you can remove this minus outside minus i can even interchange the limit minus 1 to minus infinity z power minus i but i don't have the formula for minus infinity so let us replace n as minus n if you do minus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity z power n so this is resembling my formula this is k and this is a so what the answer z power 1 that is z power k 1 minus n. so if you utilize this minus the result will be z by z minus 1 who is it that's also do you have to discuss the rules here also so the term a z is lesser than what so this is your r now let us try to plot unit circle amplitude 1 z is lesser than lesser than which goes inside this is the r now i would like to try to plot this particular signal u of n amplitude 1 0 1 2 3 da 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 up to infinity that is the reason 0 to infinity let me try to plot this particular signal 1 what are the result here z by z minus 1 what are the result here z by z minus 1 please recall both are giving the same answer who is giving the same answer you are u of n z transform is z by z minus 1 minus u of minus n minus 1 z transform is z by z minus 1 both are giving the same answer but what about its roc greater what about its roc lesser what is now we are going to conclude by seeing the sequence i can say u of n right sided sequence causal u of minus n minus n left sided sequence non causal repeating right sided sequence roc is outside left sided sequence roc is inside please remember right sided sequence roc is outside causal left sided sequence roc is inside non causal try to remember this to be maintained when we do some properties problems based on properties number 5 x of n is equal to 2 del of n let us keep it like this summation n is equal to minus infinity infinity 2 del of n z power minus n what is the definition of del of n which is an impulse signal which is available at 0 whose amplitude 1 but here this amplitude is 2 remaining all the place there is no amplitude so there is no need of the limits because it says for all value but the signal exists at one value which value at n is equal to 0 At n is equal to zero, two del of n is equal to zero, z power n is equal to zero. But the result is two del of zero is one, z power zero is one. The answer is two. Now what about the ROC? Is it the sequence is infinite sequence? No. The value itself is for the single value. Then there is no meaning of convergence or divergence. Always the result is finite. Always the result is converging, which means. any z value you take and substitute the result will be converging roc is entire z plane please try to remember roc is entire z plane when 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 the given problem is finite it is only a single value the same i am asking in the next one let us find 3 del of n minus 2. What about this signal? It is available at 2. Am I right? Is it infinite or finite? Good. It is finite. Then the given problem is a finite. There is no meaning of ROC. It should be entire z plane. Let us try. X of z is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity infinity. 3 del of n minus 2. 
I just substituted z power minus one. When it exists, when we add two, then no more summation required. After two, three del of two minus two zero, z power n is equal to two. Three del of zero is one, z power minus two. I can say three by z square. Any one answer you want, you can take. So let us take this. What about the ROC? There is no meaning in ROC, no? Because the given problem is converging. If the given answer is finite, so once again, ROC is the entire Z plane. Please remember, ROC is entire Z plane except pole value. What is pole value? If you put Z is equal to zero, it is pole. If you substitute Z is equal to zero, the result will be infinite. It will become indeterminate. So. Except that pole value, remaining all the basic sequences converge. Two more problem I have given, and even answer I have mentioned. You please try yourself later. But my general advice: when you do this, you can replace cos omega n as e power j omega n plus e power minus j omega n divided by two. Is it okay? And sine when you do minus and divided by two. And when you substitute, I am just giving you some tips. N is equal to minus infinity infinity cos omega n u of n z power minus n. U of n is zero to infinity as you know. Cos omega n you replace e power j omega n plus e power minus j omega n divided by two z power minus n. Then my advice is take two outside, split the summation into two. This you merge here, this you merge here, and start simplifying. Replace e power j and e power minus j as cos and sine. Definitely, we get this answer. Same you try, we get this answer. Try yourself, and the ROC is mod z greater than one, which is outside. I can say the maximum value of cos and sine is one, so I took amplitude as one in general. And u of n is right side the sequence cos l, so ROC must be outside. Please remember, we need these two results when we do some complicated problems using properties. Thank you.